Hi guys, it is still February 28, 2019. I'm just going to show you how they are really pushing for mandatory vaccination. And you really have to wonder why they're using the measles to do it. I am going to get to a video that I really hope that you circulate far and wide to show you that before, well, the MMR hit the market. Wow, the response to measles? Yeah, I'll show you. Well, things have changed. We've done a 180 on measles, and you got to wonder why, why. They could have chosen a disease that is far more serious than the measles. They've chosen the measles, and most of us know the measles is nothing, okay? Um, so why the measles? I, I have to wonder if this uh, agenda, you know, with the World Health Organization coming out and stating that, <laughs> yeah, the anti-vaxxers, the anti-vaxxing, the vaxxers movement, uh, they're, they're among the top 10 global health threats. We are like Ebola. So, uh, they're really going for it and going after the anti-vaxxers. Now, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. You, you listen to this crap coming out of mainstream media, and they, they speak a term, anti-vaxxer, and suddenly it's like, wow, that's contagious. And everybody then starts calling everybody an anti-vaxxer. Whoa. Okay. Talk about parroting and the programmed brain. Anti-vaxxer, okay, that's what I'll go out and call everybody who has done the research and found out how dangerous the vaccines are. I'll call them an anti-vaxxer. But the measles, this, uh, this in your face every single day, the measles outbreak, well, for one thing, they're going after exemptions. Two, are they looking to see what the response will be to something that not too long ago was nothing? No big deal. Let's use the measles. And now we're going to say, oh my God, it's incredibly dangerous and and children are dying, and and they're getting uh, uh, swollen brains, and I can't figure this out. But that people aren't um, recognizing that something's <laughs> that that there this measles suddenly is is an incredible. Uh, disease that everybody should fear. And most of the public have fallen for it. Is it the mind control they want to see? How successful they've been? I don't know, but the United Nations here, their warning of complacency. And yes, of course, it is that anti vaccine movement. I'm not in any movement, um, but here, oh, the world body warned that conflict and complacency in the growing anti-vaccine movement threatened to undo decades of work to tame the disease. Yeah, we're, we're now, uh, I also really do believe that they're, they've drummed this up. For those who do parrot the robots in the world, they, they don't have a mind of their own, so they hear something on mainstream media, they hear anti-vaxxer, and now they're hearing that it's the anti-vaxxer movement, um, and that includes all of us, anybody who posts the facts and evidence of how poisonous these vaccines are, and who posts the consequences, uh, videos, uh, parents talking about what happened to their children after vaccines. All right, well, now you got that 
pro-vaxxer movement of people who have no problem coming after the anti-vaxxer people, shaming them and attacking them. They have no problem. We have, we have become so unbelievably dumbed down that those people actually think they're smart. They think their opinion without having, it's baseless because they have never done the research. What they're doing is they hear from the news. And as long as that news is mainstream media, you know, those professional news outlets, of course they wouldn't lie. Where do you get your information from, Carol? The internet? Okay. Um, you, you, you're really dealing with people who are seriously mentally ill. I'm sorry. But they have no shame in terms of their behavior. And they come after people. I've heard from subscribers, grandparents. They've told me their adult children will not let them around their grandchildren because they didn't get the flu shot. This country has become so foreign. Lack of action today will have disastrous consequences for ch children tomorrow. Now, the, the threats are that the anti-vaxxers, quote unquote, are killing are killing children. You know, it, that they're the problem. They just want to kill off truth and want to shut all of us up. The resurgence of the disease uh, um, in some countries has been linked to medically baseless claims linking the measles vaccine to autism, which have been spread in part on social media by members of the so-called anti-vax movement. I love it how, look at the dichotomy, you know, you got red, blue, you've got conservative, liberal, you've got Democrat, Republican, you've got those um, uh, anti-life, pro-life, you've got anti-vaxxers, pro-vaxxers, yeah, could we get out of this dichotomous thinking? Is there no gray? My God. So, yeah, all right, throw everybody into the anti-vax movement. Those who've done research, and I'm going to say this over and over, those who have done the research, those who have gotten the facts and evidence, you know, and all the doctors and all of the scientists who have come out and said, hey, MMR, dangerous, vaccines, dangerous. And then you, you can't even get through to people with basic common sense. Why? Why did Congress, if they're so safe, why did Congress pass legislation for Big Pharma? They made Big Pharma immune from any liability from vaccine injury. Oh, so if they're so safe, why would they do that? They wouldn't even need to do that, right? Right, of course. Oh, but then they created this vaccine court. And you don't hear mainstream media reporting on that vaccine court, right? Okay. A vaccine court was established. The tax, uh, the fund of the back vaccine court comes from your pocket, taxpayers. And the vaccine court has doled out, well, now I'm sure it's like close to $4 billion for those, to compensate those who have been vaccine injured. Or, you know, their children died from vaccines. So if they're so safe, well, all right, you can't get through to people. World Health Organization last month listed vaccine hesitancy among the top 10 most pressing global health threat threats. It, this measles may be the disease, but all too often the real infection is misinformation, mistrust, and complacency. I honestly feel like we need a planet called trust or truth or uh, I'm honest let's 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 fly off to another planet that's called I'm honest or we don't lie or something because this is getting sickening 
living in this country. So unbelievably sickening. You know, somebody said, please stop referring to Americans. Just, you know, I, I guess I'm supposed to say people of the world. Well, I'm an American and, uh, okay, so yeah, this is happening all over the world. Um, but yeah, my focus is like Americans, I'm sorry. U.S. health experts say measles resurgence, unacceptable. Measles, horrible, terrible. Uh, it's principally in communities where people reject vaccinations and obtain exemptions. <gasps> Get rid of those exemptions. Six outbreaks of the disease have been reported. So since January 1 of this year, we've had 159 cases in the states of Washington, Colorado, and New York. Do you know how many an epidemic creates? Five. 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 Five cases of measles. We have an epidemic. What, is, what, what, what are American adults doing with this information that they read? In most American measles epidemics, the virus has been imported by travelers returning to the United States, the disease being highly active in many other countries, and then it propagates among unvaccinated people who tend to live close to each other. There are pockets of people who are vaccine hesitant. Disinformation, social media, spreading false information about the risks of vaccination. Yes, we're the ones who are spreading false information. They want to get to herd immunity. The exemptions. Yes, get rid of the exemptions. A couple of days ago, I posted a video, and in that video, all uh, I presented all of the states that have introduced bills to get rid of exemptions. You get rid of exemptions, you have mandatory vaccination. Oh, is that Maximus the cat? When, when I, I received, received that phone, phone call, call, it was fairly, it was really scary. Um, you know, my son was a, was a high-risk baby as well. Little Max was exposed to the measles in a BC hospital just days before he was supposed to be immunized. It meant he spent his first birthday isolated from his young cousins. Max's exposure to the measles virus happened because of another parent's unfounded fears of the link between autism and vaccines. We were very um, angry, disappointed. You know, it, it's surprising that it's 2019 and we're now looking at, um, you know, a virus that had all been eradicated. The science about the safety and efficacy of the MMR vaccine has long been settled, but the public debate has only escalated worldwide and online. And so have the measles outbreaks. Last year, measles in Europe hit a 20-year high. Canada and the U.S. are not far behind. And as this Ontario doctor found out, even discussing mandatory immunization can spin out of control. Last year, a colleague and I um, were threatened quite seriously by somebody in the public who was furious about us even mentioning the word mandatory uh, to the extent that the police had to get involved. Social media platforms are fertile ground for sowing the seeds of doubt about immunization. Just type the word vaccine in Facebook. Both Pinterest and YouTube are now trying to restrict anti-vax content. Canada's top doctor admits it's a struggle to counter social media's mixed messages. We did not have a good idea of the power that they have, both of spreading good information and misinformation, and we're all trying to catch up to this. Despite what vaccine-hesitant parents are reading on social media, this Winnipeg pediatrician manages to change some minds by listening. You want to keep people engaged. I think the thing is you don't want to make them feel badly about it. And I'm sure half or more will eventually start to immunize, even the hardcore vaccine-resistant resistant group. As for little Max, he finally got his shot, giving his mom peace of mind. Oh my God. Sickening propaganda. So sickening, so creepy. This is creepy, okay? This is really creepy. And to have a parent up there that, okay, these people, I'm sorry, they are disgusting, despicable, no moral core, this woman, 
no research on her own, clearly, if she's not just a paid stooge to get up there and spout the lies about vaccines. I have a vaccine playlist. I have done a lot of research. I know that there are so many people who have been compensated by the vaccine court after their children come down with lifelong autoimmune diseases or they've died. Um, and then all of the videos of all of the people injured by vaccines, the parents talking about how their child died or after that vaccine or the booster vaccine, suddenly they weren't developing very normally. I noticed there was no connection anymore between me and my child lost to the world of autism. These people, I'm sorry. So we, wow. Despicable, disgusting. And they're presenting us as nuts. We're violent nuts, right? We had to get the police involved. All right. Measles, back in the days before the marketing of the vaccine. Hmm. Back in the days when they didn't make money off of vaccines. CDC, for-profit agency, makes a tremendous amount of money from vaccines. Big Pharma, whoa! And boy, they're immune from liability, so we never have to pay out. We don't even have to pay out any money for that vaccine court fund. We'll get the taxpayers to pay that. Yet, yeah, the taxpayers will cover the bill to pay for those who have been vaccine injured by Big Pharma. Oh, what a nice country we have. Yeah, representatives in Congress representing the people. Get real, people. Measles back in the days. <laughs> I, I mean, how could this be that now measles are considered such a deadly disease? Alonso, I'll sue him. This could cost us 10,000 bucks. 
I honestly, what the hell is wrong with our country? Measles? Measles? Measles. Oh boy. What happened here? What happened to us? Measles now today. It's deadly. Well, I hope that you circulate this. Circulate this, please. Circulate this video. Uh, measles back in the days before the marketing of the vaccine. Jamie A. posted back in 2014. My God. And then you listen to these people. Yeah, it's not just United States. This is Canada. You listen to these people. You listen to these, you know, oh, we're going to go with an ordinary person on, and she's going to talk about, oh, my God, it's 2019, and how is it possible this disease was eradicated, and now it's back, and, oh, get vaccinated, and it's... I, I, I feel so foreign. I, I, I feel like a foreigner in my own country.